Hey, it's Jackie from Primitive Star Quilt Shop and we are going to talk about curtains today. We get a lot of calls and our customers oftentimes have questions about exactly how and what type of curtain they should put on their window. So we thought we'd go around with a couple of different windows from some of us here in the office and just kind of talk you through what we did and what the sizes are so you can at least see a few examples of that. So in our office here, this window is 25 and a half wide and about 78, 77 tall. So very long and narrow, these are prairies. And what we've done is, I, I like to keep my rods on the inside of the window. Now, in my opinion, there are no hard and fast rules on where you put your rod or how you do it. Some people like to put it on their trim, some people like to put it on the outside of their trim. I personally like to keep it on the inside. So I have a little tension rod. So these are prairie curtains, which are 36 inches wide each side, which is a total of 72. So that means, just to get an idea of fullness, on this little 25 and a half inch window, we've got 72 inches of fullness. So this is almost three times the width of the window. Um, a lot of people, to get enough fullness, if you really like it full, are gonna go two and a half to three times. Some people prefer just two times, you know, to give it a little less. Some people maybe wouldn't like it quite this gathered. So yeah, these are our black check. Um, super popular, I love them. And then this is one of our, uh, tobacco cloth. This is the khaki. And what I've done here is I've just put one um, because I didn't, there's no reason to put two up here. This was plenty of fullness for what I needed here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just showing this long skinny window and what we've done with the prairie curtains. Okay, so here, this is our shipping room at Primitive Star Quilt Shop. And I wanted to show you what we've done with this window. This is kind of an unusual window. I chose to keep the top. I wanted to see the, the stained glass in order to cover that up. So I chose just to put our curtains below that. So we've got the rod here. I didn't mount it on the inside like in the office, but on, on the outside here, because we've got a shade underneath as well. So this window is 60 inches wide, and I've got a set of short panels and a valance. So that means I've got, both panels are 40, so I've got 80 inches across my window of, I mean, of just the panels. And then I added the 72 inch valance. So that means when I think about my 60 inches wide, I've got almost two and a half times the width of my window is what this fullness looks like. I wanted to show you that so you could kind of see about, you know, because oftentimes you're wanting to know how many do I put on the rod? How full is that going to look? So here's 60 inches um, with, what do I have? 152 inches of fabric. Um, and that's your, you know, this is about how much it gathers. Um, so you can kind of see what, what that looks like on that window. So just wanted to show you that. Okay, I'm out in my back room now and I wanted to show you this bigger picture window um, with a little hot circle on top. Again, I wanted to keep that open. I definitely wanted the light to come in from that. And so on here, I've got two of the um, Campbell wine panels, two sets. So there's a set on each side. Um, so this just kind of shows you what's here. And then uh, I've got the rod that goes all the way across because there are some times you know, if we're watching television or something, then I'm able to pull these and be able to, you know, give us more room darkening. And then they work well to, you know, close all the way with that. Otherwise, we just keep them all pulled back so that we get lots of light in. So just kind of wanted to show you another option for what you can do with a different style of window. On this window, this is in the same room as my big back window, but this is, of course, smaller. It's about 40 inches wide. So what I've done here is taken the same Campbell wine curtains, the panel curtains, just one set of course. Um, and even though this window is shorter, I like to be able to have, you know, the longer ones in this room just because it goes, goes together with the other curtains. I do just love these Campbell wine, Campbell wine curtains. They're super fun. We've got some pillows too that match. So that's that one. Okay, so now I'm at Mara's house and this window that she's got in her living room is 92 wide. And she also has the black check. We all love black checks. And, um, this one, she's got two sets of panels. The way she has hung this, so this is different than what I've done in the office and in the shipping room, she's gone ahead and mounted this above. Um, so, you know, her trim shows and the, the rod is above. That's obviously another way that you can do this uh, depending on what, you know, what you're going for at your house. Okay, so I'm back in Mara's bedroom now. Wanted to show you what she's done in here. Again, with the black check, we've got a swag as well as a balance. So our valances for, um, for almost all of our curtains are designed so that when you put a swag and a balance together, they are the same length. So that works great if you need to add to a wide window. She, her window here is 67. 
Um, and so she's got one swag and one sixtieth balance. And so we figured this is probably um, just over two times the, the width of her window is what she's got in curtain fabric to let you see um, you know, how, how tightly it gathers. Something else to note on this window, she also has the wide, um, the wide uh, rod, the flat kind. These curtains come with a three and a quarter rod pocket, so you can see how this wider, wider rod fits there. Down below here for the tiers, she's got just a regular size rod here, um, and she's got two sets of 36 inch tiers that you know hang behind the bed as well as just you know bring a little bit more privacy and, and uh, blocking some more light in this area. And then um, in the same room, she has this same, same width, 67, but she's just got two balances on here. So you can see how on this one, she decided to kind of, you know, frame the bed with some swags, add a little bit more uh, flair to that. And over here, just keep it simple with a couple of balances. Um, again, and this is just under two times uh, the width because these are just 60 inch balances. So just wanted to show you again how to do curtains with some different size windows. Uh, even different rods, because again, on this one, we've got the smaller rod, like I use at my house too. Um, but either one looks great. It just depends on what the style is you're going for. Okay, again, looking at some black check in the kitchen. And it's just one simple valance on just a simple rod that's the smaller kind. Um, this window is about 35. So again, this is not even quite two times the width. And you can see the, the fullness here with these black check scalloped lined valances. Just want to show you that in the kitchen. Okay, so now we took a field trip out to Cindy's house. And in her dining room, I wanted to show you what she's done with this because this is a little bit unusual. Not a lot of people do it, but it is it works perfect, especially for this room. Well, she's got panels, of course, and they also have hung it above above the wood, uh, just a regular, you know, smaller rod. But then instead of a balance to give her more space across the window, she chose to use 24 inch tiers. You know, if you've got a, a good size room, a good size window, you choose to hang them above, you know, above like that, um, above your trim, you have options. So if you don't just want something small like a, a 16 inch balance, you know, the 24 inch looks great, um, but she said that on both of these windows and I just wanted you to be able to see, you know, the way you can combine even the tiers with the panels. So it's a great look. So I hope this was helpful to you to be able to see different size windows, different styles of curtains, um, how they all go together on the rod, the kind of rod you can use, where you can mount them on your windows. And if you have any questions as you get ready to give your windows uh, a makeover, you can always give us a call at Primitive Star Cold Shop. We'd just love to help you. Thanks.